Hi, this is Elaine Williams with Captivate the Crowd, and this is a super quick, powerful warm-up. Anytime you are speaking, whether it's on Zoom or especially if it's in public, when we take the time to get on our breath and just wake our articulators up, our face, our, our, our mouth muscles, you are that much more effective and dynamic. It's worth the time. So the first thing you want to start is take deep belly breaths. Put your hands on your waist, and I want you to feel the diaphragm going out. Now I want you to breathe in for four through your nose, and then out on four through your nose. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Excellent. Now I want you to go in for six, one, two, three, four, five, six, out on an S. Your lips, your teeth are together, but they're not clenched. And you're hissing like a snake, breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, out. This will help you with breath control. This will help you make longer sentences when you want to do longer phrasing versus speaking in staccato because you want to have variety, which keeps your audience awake and engaged. If you're speaking in the same cadence all the time, after a few minutes, they will check out. So you want to have variety. You want to maybe get up high for a minute. And so these are the kinds of exercises that will allow you to have that vocal freedom, that vocal power, and that authority and presence. So we did the S. Now I want you to do the bubble. It's not attractive, but try it. You're blowing air through your lips. It took me a long time to get this loose, but it opens up your jaws, and it makes sure that you're on your breath. And you want to imagine that air is coming out as if you were an airplane leaving a trail in the sky. Same with the S. So just doing those exercises once a day, a couple of them once a day, can change the way you breathe and the way you speak and will help you get more on your breath because we want you to speak from your diaphragm and not from your throat. Sometimes when we're tired or stressed, we get from here and you're gonna lose your voice that way. So just playing with the bubble and the S is huge. Another quick one is do a scoop. Oh, 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 oh. It doesn't have to be pretty, but this is a great way to stretch out <clears throat> and change, give you more variety. It's like a muscle. Okay, we're almost done. Coming to toy boat. This is a way to wake up your mouth and your articulators so that by the time you get to your regular speech, it's going to be cake. It's going to be so easy because this is harder than it seems. Toy boat. Do it with me. Toy boat. 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 Another one, red leather, yellow leather. 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 That's a great way to wake up. It's a tongue twister. The tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, the tongue, and the teeth. The tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, the tongue, and the teeth. And if you want to make it, you could practice taking up more space, really owning your presence and giving yourself permission to be bold. You want to be over the top and then bring it back. Like Shakespeare, the tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, the tongue, and the teeth. The tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, the tongue, and the teeth. The tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, the tongue, and the teeth. 
you want to feel like you're spinning. That means you're on your breath. That's what they do on Broadway. That means you can speak all day, every day on podcasts, giving speeches, in court, whatever your thing is. The tip of the tongue, the roof of the mouth, the lips, the tongue, and the teeth. Okay, that is your quick five-minute warm-up. It's worth doing it. Get in the habit. I made this short so you can do it with me every time.